Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, Saka here with another episode of Crusader Kings 2. And as I was finishing up this war, our king died. So I changed the law to elective gavel kind. It seems more stable. Uh, our vassals really like it. Our children really like it. We won't hold as many uh, duchies and kingdoms ourselves. So we have to rely a lot on our liege levy. They basically have, we have only half of our vassals in wartime. We're working on improving our religious relations here, but we only have two um, religious vassals to really make happy. So we will send a gift, 17, and yeah, he's going to really start paying us a lot of money here. One we claim can be pressed because of uh, the Queen of Brittany here, the, the courtiers, that's down there in France, and I am not going to France. I'm focusing up here in Gwynedd. Looking at Dyfed, though, uh, this was the realm that we just captured, and we have a 10-year-old who kind of likes us, who would give him uh, some of our troops. And the major downfall for fighting for Gwynedd as a whole is the fact that when we raise up our levies, they will be coming from the island trying to cross this strait. As soon as we declare war, they will stand up and then probably crush the little guy in Dyfed before we can make the crossing here. Oh, we did. Okay, so we have uh, some we have some things to do here. Awesome. My wife Isabella has been complained. You know what? We'll just uh, keep the gold because we died. <laughs> All right, so we are now King Conmac of Ireland. Our heir is our half-brother. Interesting indeed. Taking a look at the military effect, we're at 28, so um, because... Oh, people are voting for the next, uh, the next group here. But because we owned a plot of land ourselves and we become king, we essentially inherited that. So we get all the troops that the old man didn't have. Voting is taking place. Even more voting here. We need to pick an ambition now. So we have a lot of ambitions to do. We can become a paragon of virtue with 500 piety. I think not. Become exalted among men. A thousand prestige. That's good for the long game. Have a daughter. Have a son. Improve our stewardship. Improve our learning. And improve our intrigue. The easiest thing to do would be have a son. That would be the easiest thing to do for us. We, now we need our counselors. So obviously Dubgilla is going to be our main chancellor. She is going to start fabricating claims across the way. Our marshal is going to be a Scandlane, courtier in Ireland. He hates us, but he is going to train troops in our capital and increase those numbers. We need to make him like us. Why do you not like us? Oh, he is a rival. Be a shame if something were to happen to you. 81%? I mean, it could happen. Do we have anyone else in the council that could be okay? A 15? Not bad. All right, let's take a look at the steward. We have two choices of steward, our wife and a courtier. Of course, we're going to give it to our wife. And you're going to collect taxes in the capital. Our spy master, we have an 11. You're going to scheme in the capital and try to catch anyone trying to backstab us. And our court chaplain is going to be Donal. And he's going to be doing the work helping us um, with these relationships. But since both relationships are good, I believe you are going to research the cultural tech in our capital as well. So four people are voting for Tannis uh, Gellick? Kellick? And Darme. So, I mean, let's just go with the flow here. Calic it is. We will nominate him. Two children lack a guardian here. I've already, yeah, I was going to say I already nominated. So you were working on your backstabby stabby, good son. Let's educate him by the backstabby stabby. Our wife. Awesome. Teach him well. And you were an average Joe. Not bad, I believe. Um, no, no, not the children. I believe someone with a high learning, Donal. You shall also educate that child there. Awesome. So let's take a look at our vassals. Now, because we are a new king, vassal opinion will swing wildly for sure. 
Darme Ubrain doesn't like us, we could probably uh, send a gift here to the child. 56 gold for 32, why not? That'll increase his opinion. Uh, we make 5.41, so because of our low stewardship, things are not going well. Once we have a son, I will definitely work on that stewardship skill to collect more taxes. So now looking at the opinion Darme, and it looks like he is going to be 47 gold for 32. I mean, why not? We might be able to also grant him an honorary title. The Keeper of the Swan for 5 opinion. But that's salaried pay, and we really don't have the money for that salary. Seneschal wouldn't be bad, though. Monthly prestige and a monthly salary. Oh, she's pregnant. Five prestige for us. Outstanding. Let's try to... Yeah, let's, let's grant him an honorary title here. The Seneschal. Make him like us a bit more. But why do you don't... Oh, we're bitter rivals. And for being bitter rivals, a negative 10 isn't bad because that is a base of negative 100. We're actually running at negative 125. So the fact that he's just at negative 10 is not bad, not bad at all. Let's take a look at our laws. We could raise some obligations here. If we wanted more uh, vassal levy, we could change the levy Church levies large, city levies large. If we did that, we would get minus 10. Hmm. The burger and vassal max levy would actually go down. So it doesn't seem like it's a, a good net sum. Yeah, we get more of them, but there aren't as many to get, which doesn't seem good. As far as the realm goes, though, vassal opinion goes down minus 10, but. 40% more levy, that isn't bad, and or we could increase our domain size, which we don't need to do because we're only holding two out of seven for ourselves. Um, if we want to upset the Pope, we can do free investiture, we can appoint bishops ourselves, and all the bishops will like us. So how is the Pope? Well, oof. He's, he, he's running middle of the road. If the Pope doesn't like us and he declares us... <clears throat> Um, infidels or a, a holy war against us that would not be good let's take a look at our known plots all right it's just some courtiers being plotted against oh what is going on up here gentlemen defending against King Malcolm the de jure war over Argyll so unfortunately for us we sent our half-sister oh a daughter mayor mayor Gred. well crap well we do have a daughter Oh no, we're ill. We may end up dying. We may go through two rulers in an episode. Luckily he's young, his health should be okay. But that sucks. That sucks indeed. How is your martial skill? Not bad. So if we were to die, we would still have a pretty good troop count. Duchess of Meath has inherited from Duke Donad the Cruel. Our half-brother died after illness. Fascinating, so our niece is now our vassal, who really likes us. She's a title claimant, a weak claimant on the Kingdom of Ireland. She can't really press that except in rare circumstances, but it's good to have an heir that really likes us. I like you too, dear, dear sister. 17 gold for 32, why not? Get her opinion way, way up there. Outstanding. Title, so a designated regent. We want someone in power who really likes us. The, du the Duchess will be our designated regent. Now she'll really like us. All right, can we appoint a commander as well? Was he a regent and a commander? Possibly. All right, so your combat skill is one, your combat skill is five, you're a scaredy cat. Well, it looks like our best martial skill. Why not? So the rebels want a betrothal, do you? You are of the Castilian Revolt. No. Nope. Uh, we have no business down there in Castile. You can just go away, good sir. So what is your percentage to, to fabricate a claim here in Gwynedd? 19.8 yearly. We have a 1 in 5 chance every year to get that claim. 
And it looks like our allies won't be our allies for much longer. 13 in favor of King uh, Malcolm. Oof. That is rough. The petty kingdom of the Isles. So King Donald the Drunkard is getting wrecked by the true king of Scotland, uh, Malcolm. Which, that is not our ally. I was hoping that this guy, at 70 years old, would kick the bucket. Oh, his heir? Oh, okay. I was going to say, his heir is no longer his heir, but it is. Our half-sister is still in there? So if he were to die, we could form an alliance, but then we may be dragged into this Scotland war, which is not good for anyone, I don't believe. All right. Let's try to hold a summer fair because our prestige um, will need to climb here. 25 gold, make the peasants happy. The higher we can get our prestige, the better off we will be. We gained three already, being the king of, king of Ireland. It was rather funny, we gained five more prestige. Outstanding. Still working on Gwynedd, how is our troop count? We're maxed on troops. We've got 3,000 that we can call and 2,700 is backup. This guy needs to get into a war. He needs to use up all of his troops, say, against England or something like that. That would be nice. An errant monk. So our bishop loses minus five. Whoops. Well, I meant to see what his uh, opinion of me was. Prince Sela Princess Selene, our sister, is now of legal age. She's a pretty good schemer. She may indeed come in handy for sure. The Pellers are loading their wares. We gain 10 prestige. Not a whole lot of prestige, but now our princess. Can we uh, arrange a marriage here with someone? Nope, just commanders. We have a brand new uh, family member here. Are you married? You're already betrothed. Huh, well be a shame. 15, dang it. I was hoping to bump her off so then I could just swoop in and say, Aha, the, uh, the heir, wait, of France. So the king of France, and you're seven. Can we betroth our daughter to you? Arrange a betrothal, yourself, please. And uh, how about Selene? Oh, they would do it? 42 prestige, outstanding. So we can gain a pretty powerful uh, ally with 11,000 troops. All right. So hopefully you don't change his mind. Our um, sister will be married to the king of France once uh, that is kicked off. Oh, we can already form an alliance. Then we shall. The illness has passed and we should be allied to France. I accept your proposal for an alliance. Outstanding. So now we are in with France. If we look at our packs, we have the uh, the Kingdom of France. So now when we decide to mark on, oh crap. Well, we're in a war already. So we are fighting the Holy Roman Empire. Defending. Oh crap. Well, we'll accept it. We're not gonna lose that much prestige, but essentially the uh, Holy Roman Empire now has a target on our backs so we need to really keep a lookout for these troops oh man you're getting wrecked why did I that's why you accepted an alliance you thought I was going to come save you whoops sorry buddy well that didn't exactly go to plan I wanted to have a nice strong ally the defensive pact opposing that's fine I don't care um yeah, this guy's going to lose all of his troops. He's not going to be helpful in any way, shape, and form. And now that the Holy Roman Emperor realizes that Ireland <laughs> is also standing up against them, uh, we may have Holy Roman troops land on our shores. I need to keep a close eye out here for sure. If you guys just go ahead and siege down, uh, siege down France, that's fine. I don't know what your claim is for. You're attacking France in the De Jure War over Halnut. Well, the Romans owned it. 
So, uh, yeah, that's going to be ticking war score. That war should be over soon. Don't overexert your Fran yourself, France. We need you in our future conflict, if you don't mind. Well, crap on a cracker. I didn't know that was going to happen. I should have looked. <laughs> Beginner's tip. Always look and see, when you're forming an alliance, what wars they're in. We can go into hiding. Why do we want to go into hiding? Oh, someone wants to kill us. Feldum. Feldum wants to kill us. Can we tell you to end? Yes, you will end. You dare not refuse. You better not. So our kinsman's wife wants us dead. Yep. You stop your plot. You stop it. And he's the heir. So basically, she wanted to uh, make herself queen. She wanted to speed up our demise. And we're only 25, so you, my dear, are going to have to wait. And a matter of fact, dang it! We can't kill her. People like her too much. She's deceitful. Well, she did say that she would uh, back off. All right, HRE, where are you at? Sieging that down? Oh, they straight up assaulted. Which you might as well. Oh, goodbye, France. It was nice knowing you. I think after this battle, the war will be over, and then we don't have to worry about the Holy Roman Empire storming Irish shores. That would be nice. We oh, yes. So France has lost Hainut. France needs to really um, get their troops back. They're down to 1,500 troops. 2,000. So he's, he's training his troops back. Not exactly the powerful ally that I was anticipating joining us. But that's fine. That's fine. Oh! 50% levy reinforcement rate. That's fine because we're absolutely full. And it doesn't look like our Chancellor is having any luck. Our wife is pregnant again. More prestige. Be a son this time, if you please. I know you don't have any control over such things as these, but it sure would be nice to fulfill an ambition so we can work on our stewardship so we make more than six gold a month. That sure would be nice. Paying for, especially if he gets a claim on the Duchy of Gwynedd, that is going to be really, really expensive for us, and I do not want to go into debt. I need you to get into a war, good sir. I need your levies to, uh, to stand up in a civil war, if you don't mind. That would be nice. Just sort of wreck them and then take advantage of that. Hey, France, how you doing? Are you recovering well? You are. In fact, you've got more troops than me already. France, you are going to be just fine. You have a lot of Frenchmen down there. And especially when we start moving in on England, I think France will be more than happy to join us. I don't know if France is going to be happy to join us in our war for Gwynedd, especially since we're just trying to take this for ourselves, which we will hold all of these counties for ourselves since we're under the domain limit. A new bird has arrived. Let's see, take her for a hunt. We gain falconry or 50% inspiration. He may gain some learning. Nah. Take her out for a hunt. We are the hunting kind, if we were to roleplay this. We're brave, we're patient, we're diligent, we're kind, we're honest, and all that good stuff. We have a personal combat. You know, it wouldn't be bad. Oh, I like this. More diplomacy. Well, we weren't going for diplomacy, but since we're an aspiring falconer, we will gain that diplomacy skill. Maybe people will like us better. All right. Next speed, speed four. Working on that claim. How are things going in the council? Everyone is doing a job. Chase after the bandits who had stolen one of the valuable chalices from our church. When I returned exhausted, I was told the old priest has simply missed Chase. Please place the chalice. We gained 15 piety for helping out our, uh, our bishop because of our high martial skill. We just... Another... Oh, a son, Merchad! Outstanding. We have fulfilled our ambition to have a son here. Let's make a new ambition. Improve our stewardship would be the best thing to do. Collect that gold. Collect that money, money, money. So hopefully we can get some events to help that out. Once we hit eight, we'll be uh, improving our wealth for sure. Then we can pay for such things as these. That's the goal. A new bird is almost too perfect. 
I'm a falconer. Plus one diplomacy and every other falconer. Falconer likes it. Yep. Excellent diplomacy. I don't feel so well. Oh crap, we're ill now. We just got these awesome trades. Our levy went up because I guess people like the fact that we're falconers and people are really, really liking us. Oh, Midas touched. Prince Ossany of Ireland, our nephew. But the betrothed can marry. Who are you, my dear? Mayor of Dublin. Our niece and our nephew. Okay. And now that now they won't accept it. So you know what? Um, can we break that betrothal? This will lower Mayor of Dublin. Well, girl, I'm trying to get you married. Let's see, arrange a marriage yourself. Oh, so that's just her court. Well, um, that's fine. Oh, illness has passed. We proposed that mayor, sure, I wanted to accept it. There we go. Okay, so we'll see what children come from this. Title claimant deceitful. <laughs> okay. Oh, our sister is still not married. We will find her someone nice indeed. Let us arrange a marriage here. Oh, crap. The Byzantine Emperor. He'll do it. Oh, snap. The Byzantine Emperor really likes us. Oh. Princess Selene claims she would be a better spy master. 15 to f 15 to 11. Yeah, she is my sister. This is just a regular old courtier. She is now my spy master. Awesome. So now our spy master go ahead and scheme in the capital. Okay. And now let's go over to the HRE. Ah, cuz I believe Wait. Hold up. Wait a minute. Who got married off? Because I thought for sure. Or did she go down to Constantinople? Yeah. Hey, Constantinople, you want to... So we already have a non-aggression pact. You want an alliance? No. Base reluctance, though. Can we send him... Well, if we send him... Yeah, we... there's no way we can send him a gift. He is way too rich. 322 gold? I think not. Well, crap. If we, uh... Hmm. Nothing really we can do. I mean, that is a pretty powerful... All right. We request the call to arms against Princess Elodie of France. Sure, we'll accept it. I don't know what you're doing. What do you own? Elodie's host. Oh, so it's just like a regular old band of troops. Just some rebels. Well, France, I have no question that you will go and smash them. Is that Elodie's host? No, that's Elodie's host. So 4,000 troops. You know what? If I had some boats, I'd help you. All right, propose that Prince Kesmir. So where is Kesmir on the realm of things? Oh, okay. And our sister. Yeah, that's who we were looking for. Yeah, sure. So Croatia. That is riddled with filth right now. But we are making friends in high places. That is pretty good. But I think that is going to... Wait, we have a child that lacks a guardian. Uh, my dear, you are looking like you might be a good... Steward, maybe? Sure. All right. What I'd like to do is... I don't know what kind of tech we need for sort of an even heal. Crown authority... Legalism, maybe tolerance, opinion penalty for religion, majesty. There's one of these that women can inherit, construction speed. You know, we can probably try to build a building. Let's do that for now. All right, we can build a barracks, 45 more heavy infantry and pikemen. Although we do need castle walls and we need castle walls too. technology. 
Where are those castle walls? The castle infrastructure. No. Let's see. Uh, castle walls. Stables. I thought for sure we had castle walls. Is this not our holding? We own the Duchy of Leinster, the County of Leinster. Yeah, that belongs to us. Improved keeps at least level four. Improved keeps, level four. I thought that was castle infrastructure. Oh, there's improved keeps. Yeah, we don't have the tech for that. Huh. That would be nice. So for now, let's go ahead and spend some of our money here and build a barracks. 45 more heavy infantry, 20 pikemen, 279 gold. Let's go ahead and get that working. Never hurts to have the few troops that we do have for sure. But that is going to do it for me in this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Like, share, and subscribe if you are so bold. Thank you so much for tuning in. And when we come back, we'll see if King Conmac can start working over here in Gwynedd. We will see if France figures out this war, which it doesn't look like they're going to. Well, yeah, they, yeah they're going to. They'll be fine. And then we'll see if we can get across this straight. But that is going to do it for me in this episode of Crusader Kings 2, ladies and gentlemen. Take care.